Hi there. I am doing this as a critique of Thomas Saws. Thomas Saws was a psychiatrist who sort of pioneered libertarian psychology or libertarian psychiatry, if you want to use such verbiage. But this is a critique of Thomas Saws. And the critique is that he relied too much on his atheistic perspectives to form his opinions. And again, this is not necessarily a criticism, um, but just that I think it's a, yeah, it's a critique. You know, I'm basically trying to point out that I think it's important to realize that Thomas Saws was an atheist. And of course, this may, you know, help form his views that, you know, suicide should, should be considered a human right in the sense of that we should not lock law-abiding adults up inside psychiatric wards um, because they threaten to end their own lives. You know, it, it, definitely from an atheistic perspective, that reasoning could hold more creed, perhaps. Um, and of course, from a traditional Christian perspective or Catholic perspective, you know, with the whole interpretation of thou shalt not kill, including thy own self, um, you know, it's a lot easier to support civil commitment in locking adults up in psychiatric wards. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that someone ending their own life is a good thing. And quite to the contrary, I hope that no one on earth wants or does end their own life because, you know, they enjoy living on earth so much and they find so much meaning in their life that they feel good in significant amounts. Um, they feel significantly good in life, and they want to live on Earth. I hope that's the case. I just think that Thomas Saws implicitly, and sometimes almost explicitly, relies too much on, uh, you know, his sort of atheistic perspectives. And, you know, and I'll, I'll say I agree with probably 70 to 95% of the stuff that Thomas Saws writes, um, I just think he relies a bit too much on the atheistic perspective to form some of his beliefs. And I'm basing that off my opinions and memories and understandings of his writings and his works. So that's what I'll say about that. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, and yeah, and I would encourage you to read the books that Thomas Sods wrote. He passed away at the age of 92 in 2012 uh, and wrote about 36 books. Um, and, and I think most of them are pretty good. So. I'll end it there. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Watch my other videos. Visit my websites and have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, or night, whenever and wherever you may be.